Hey y'all, this is Danielle, and you are watching Danielle Crafts Studio, where every dollar counts. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are not already, and make sure you comment down below that you are a new subscriber so I can properly welcome you to my channel. Also, I do have an Etsy shop linked down in the description box if you want to go over there, hit the follow button, and favorite any challenges you think are cute because I do have new challenges uploaded in the shop right now and I think they came out really good. And today is Wednesday, so happy Wednesday everybody. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really appreciate it. If you are new, let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Danielle. I live in Texas. I am 20 years old. I will be 21 in April and I have a part-time job. So that is a little bit about me and we're going to jump right into this video. Let's go ahead and count our money. This is our savings challenge binder stuffing. So basically I have this binder to help encourage me to save money. Now, the money can be going to a multitude of things. It could be going to sinking funds. It could be going to certain things I'm trying to save up for, not savings or retirement or emergency fund. Those I do in my Friday videos, but just fun things or things I feel like are needed. Um, I really wanna get my cat a cat tree like I need to get him a cat tree so he stops ruining all of my things. <laughs> so the cat tree costs about 200 bucks, the one I want to get. So different things like that. I think a cat tree, I want to save up for um, a different thing. What was the other third thing I wanted to save up for? I can't remember, but that's the purpose of this binder. Let's go ahead and count our money. We have 10. 15, 25, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 41, 2, 3. We are stuffing $43 in this binder today, which I'm excited about. Let me get my scratcher tool out because I'm definitely going to need that. And you see all the money right there off to the side. This is an A5 binder, which I'm still not used to it. It's huge. It's a monster, okay? Um, so, like I said, still not used to it at all. We're going to flip all the way to the back of the binder. And we're going to write on this little tracker I made. I can't remember what date it is, but we'll fill that out later. And I'm putting 43. So... Oops, did I do that right? Yeah, I did that right. Okay. The total will be $103 in this binder, which is pretty good. So, the first one we're going to do is thank you for being a friend. It's a scratch off A5 challenge that I created. I do not sell it in my Etsy shop. Wink, wink. If y'all get it, y'all get it. Um, we are going to be scratching one of these, and I can't remember what the numbers are under it, so I guess we'll just do this one. Oh man. Oh, this sucks. Okay. I don't know if this is a one or a seven. The font I used was a really weird, funky font, and if you have like the one and the seven next to each other, you can tell which is which, but I don't know if that's a seven or a one. Like, what do y'all think? I think it's a seven and the one probably doesn't have anything like sticking out, right? Or is it a one? No, I think it's a seven. We're going to go with seven. <laughs> I know I made this challenge and I don't even know what it is. I think it's a seven, and I think the one is literally just a line down. So we have five, six, seven. We're going to be adding to this binder, which makes our total for this challenge at nine so far. So let's go ahead and put this money back in there. The next challenge is another one I created. Most of these are ones that I created. Um... It's a no dollar left behind, so we don't do that right away. We have Cupid's Day by me. If it's not 
by me if I didn't make the challenge I'll go ahead and tell you who did just so I'm not saying I made this I made that I made this I made that you know because that can be a little repetitive so if I didn't make the challenge I'll tell you who did Cupid's Day, super cute. We are going to color in a five. I didn't plan out this video, so I'm kind of just rolling with the punches. And we'll see if we can actually stuff all the challenges or if we have to go back and add more money into each challenge. All right, so we have $15 in Cupid's Day. I hopefully will get it done before... Um, Valentine's Day, but I doubt it. We'll see. Seinfeld. I made this scratcher. I love Seinfeld. Let's see. Here we go. We're going to do this one because I don't remember what's under this one. Oh, an envelope. Okay. This is worth $5. I really need to get one of those like desk vacuums, you know, so I can just put it right there and then suck up all the debris from the scratch off. But hopefully soon I'll be able to get that. This is a little envelope, if y'all can see that. I put it in envelope because it reminded me of when George's wife died because she licked all of the wedding envelopes and it was like, poisonous and so then she ended up dying that's why I put that in there so we're gonna put five dollars now we have six dollars in this challenge next is save that money honey super cute I'm going to put I want to use some ones so I'm gonna put four we're gonna put four dollars in here so we have one, two, three, four. Let me know what you're having for lunch, okay? I wanna know, I'm going to have a homemade chicken sandwich with ciabatta bread. I love ciabatta bread because it gets so crispy. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna have for lunch. I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner at all. But comment down below, what are you going to eat for lunch? Because I really would love to know. Now we have $11 in Save That Money, honey. Next up is, oh no, I spilt the beans. This is inspired by The Office when he spills like the chili. And let's see. We'll put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> I don't know what to put. Two dollars. We'll put two dollars. I want to try to reach the end of this binder and be able to stuff money in the whole thing. So we're going to put two dollars. One, two. Now we have a total of twelve dollars in this challenge. It only goes up to forty-nine. Comment down below what you're doing while watching this video. Now we're going to working on savings. Also, I have another question. I know. Me with my questions. I just be asking y'all everything. Um, my question is, do y'all have an A5 binder and do y'all do A5 challenges? So, do y'all do A5 challenges? Do you do letter size challenges, which are the 8.5 by 11? Or do you do 8? A6 challenges, the ones I sell in my shop. Um, let me know. I feel like a majority of people do A6 challenges, but maybe I'm just completely off and other people do like the bigger challenges, the A5, all of those kinds. So let me know in the comments. That would be really interesting. I'm going to put $1 because like I said, I'm trying to be conservative with the money. So we're just going to put a dollar. This is working on savings. I think this is super cute. Super, super cute. And I colored that glass of water in. So we're going to add a dollar, which equals $6 in this challenge. 
Next up is Stay Golden Ladies. Well, I really want to get to the other challenges. Oh my gosh, I owe this one a dollar. And I didn't even realize it. Okay, so I owed the uh, Jack Skellington challenge from um, Esme Saving esme savings adventure so i put the dollar in there and i'll take out the you owe the grinch um what are those i owe you slips so i put that in there let's see i might skip the stay golden ladies i might skip the pour some sh uh, syrup on me and i might go to these Let's do this one first. I want to make sure I have money for this one since this is the challenge that inspired the A5 binder itself. So we definitely have to do this one. I just hope it's a low number. I hope it's a really low number. Please be a low number. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, be a low number. Five. Okay, that's not too bad. Five is good. Cool, cool, cool. She has this on her Etsy shop. I believe she sells it in a bundle. Um... It's super cute, and I suggest you go check it out, linked in the description box below, and we're going to add our $5. So we have $10, 15 $21, $22 in this. Let me open this thing up. Come on. There we go. And I'll slide this down in there. Okay, now we definitely did that one, which I feel better about. We're going to go ahead and do this one. It's from Miranda, Miranda's Budgets. She has a YouTube channel. I'll link the YouTube channel and her Etsy shop down in the description box below. This one, we roll a six-sided die, and whatever it lands on, we stuff. So, let's see. What's it going to land on? A three again? Three the first time. We're just going to put a three, and... We'll call it good. Yeah, so we should have six dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six dollars in this challenge so far. It's a really cute shark challenge. She did a really good job. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. Anyway, let's move on. Um, the only one I haven't stuffed is the Stay Golden Ladies and the Pour Some Syrup on Me. So let's do the Stay Golden Ladies. We're going to go ahead and color in one of these suns, and we'll make it, each sun is worth $5, so we're going to color in one of these, and then we'll put the $10 in there and take out a 5. So let's take this 5 out, put the 10 in here, now this one is done. And hopefully we get a five on the pour some syrup on me challenge. Hopefully. Let's see. Um, let's do right here. <gasps> oh my gosh. We got a five. We got a five. That is crazy because I do not remember where I put the numbers under these at all. Um, so that is so stinking cute. All right, I love it. This one is a different um, waffle. It has a bite taken out of it with crumbs, and then it has a five that looks like a strawberry. So let's see, we're gonna add this five, which means we have $6 in the pour some syrup on me challenge. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed all the challenges. We still didn't get to put in our uh, No Dollar Left Behind challenge. And we also didn't have a IOU slip. So those are two very good things, I guess. Let me close up this big, huge binder. <laughs> My goodness. And I have no idea what it's going to equal when I finish like all the challenges in the binder. I wonder how much it's going to equal, but I haven't figured that out. All right. Thank you so much. That's the end of this video. Oh my gosh. I almost forgot. I'm just dropping the ball this week, ain't I? Okay.
new challenges in my shop. I have a new dice challenge, which is super stinking cute. Um, I actually used a dice. I was using this one and then this kept landing on the same thing. So I had to get a different six sided die. Um, I would roll it and whatever number it was, that's the dice that I would put next in the challenge. So it's called let the dice decide. It's on my Etsy shop. It's in the featured section. I also have another challenge that's new called self love challenge and it's so stinking cute. Please go check it out. And I also have two new bundles available, and I'm really proud of these. So, the first one is this mini mermaid saving challenge bundle. All right, let me do this. Mini mermaid saving challenge bundle worth $30. Isn't she so stankin' cute? I think it's beautiful. And all of the little seashells, it doesn't go higher than $7, okay? These are all digital downloads. So you would buy the challenge, a FPF, oh my gosh, I really cannot speak today. PDF will be sent to you by Etsy, not by me, by Etsy. We'll send you the PDF file for it, and then you print it out at home and you cut it. That's what you do. So... This is a $30 one. This is the $44 one. I love this mermaid. She is just so stinking cute. Look at her hair. It's beautiful. So yeah, this one doesn't go higher than seven, no, $8 and it's worth 44. And then we have the last one in the bundle. It's worth 56 and it doesn't go higher than $12. Isn't she adorable? I just think it's so cute. So you get all three of these for $3.50 plus tax. And look how nice they are. I think I did a really good job. Let me know what you think about the mermaid challenge. And then the other bundle I came out with is called the mini koi fish bundle. You get three challenges for $3.50. And this one is worth $54. And they're little um, lotus flowers that you can color in the highest number on this is nine isn't that so stinking cute and you see the bubbles like i love the bubbles this one is worth 45 the highest number is seven and look at those like watercolor koi fish and then we have the 18 dollar one with the lotus flowers the highest number is three and look how beautiful that white and blue koi fish are gorgeous so please go check those challenges out in my etsy shop and favorite them if you think they're cute i think they came out really good and if you have any suggestions for challenges please leave them in the comments below or message me on etsy so i can get some inspiration um and now actually that was it that was all i will see all of you on thursday make sure you comment down below a fish emoji okay a fish emoji and if you can't find a fish emoji for some reason they don't have one do a like wave a water wave emoji okay like you know the ocean emoji um so i know you watch the entire video and then i can you know thank you in the comments if you are a new subscriber don't forget let me know so i can welcome you and don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I feel like I'm forgetting something and I don't know what it is. What was it? I guess that was it. I will see y'all tomorrow. We are going to be doing our Coraline binder which is really exciting and fun. So don't miss it tomorrow, Thursday. I will be uploading that video and then we have our Friday sinking funds. And then Saturday, we don't have a video. And comment down your suggestions for the Tuesday video. Like, what should the Tuesday video be for next week? And if I don't post this, if I film next week's videos before I post this video, obviously I won't be able to do those suggestions because I'd be, I would have filmed in advance, you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm talking your ear off and it is time to go. So thank you so much for being with me. I really appreciate it. Make sure you comment down below what you did today. And I will see all of you tomorrow. Blessings to everybody. Goodbye.